The Harrisons have been in the family business of gold and silver pawn shop for more than a decade now, and the show Pawn Stars has been filming their daily mundane business. The American reality TV series runs on history and has always got attention-grabbing content for its audience. Like Harrison, his grandkid has a childhood friend, Chumley, who has also made many whooping deals on the show by using the best of his negotiating skills. Today, we are going to look at some of the biggest deals he has ever sealed. But before we begin, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Also, don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you don't miss out on anything. Number 1. Beatles Collection Pawn Stars Season 15 had a man named Kyle willing to sell his incredible vintage Beatles collection. He told him he has been gathering them for 15 years now. His initial demand, however, was $26,500, since he got variations that only fan club members got, records that were printed so quickly to meet the demand that they didn't even have the producer's information. Chumley knew how popular the Beatles are to this day, but he wanted to double check just in case, so he called the owner of the Moondog Records, who was amazed by the collection Kyle had been accumulating, which also included sealed records of hit songs with hype stickers in near mint condition, and told him that it has an estimated retail value of 30000 Chumley was able to get the collection for just 20000 in the end. Wow, that's impressive. Number 2. Gibson Mandolin Guess who is called the whipping boy of the pawn shop? Yes, it is none other than Chumley himself. And rightly so, for some of his deals made everyone wonder if he is insane. Once, in season 2 of the show, he was minding the shop all alone one day when a man offered him a Gibson Mandolin. Now, this was one of the thousands of dupes that are sold in the market around the US. It had the initials of the logo rubbed and seemed a little different too. Chumley still managed to buy the mandolin for $1,500 despite the limit of $1,000. He then took it to the music shop owner and what he revealed was Chumley's greatest disappointment of all time, how it wasn't worth more than 100 bucks. <laughs> Oops, Chumley. Number 3. Bike. In Season 8, Chumley got lost when he accidentally came across a very special bike at some random person's house. He knew if he cracked this one, his bosses would be very happy with him. He went to the owner and came to know that it was a 1959 Spacelander, which is rare since most of the models of that time are in museums now, and it was a present for him on his 10th birthday. The owner's initial demand for it was a whopping $20,000. However, Chumley convinced him for just $8,700 since the owner was out of cash that day and needed it badly. Like Chumley predicted, this incredible deal did not only have him earn praise from his bosses, but also his very first bonus of $1,000 since he has been working in the pawn shop. Number 4. The Scottish Pistols Though Chumley has been seen carelessly roaming around, at times he has just blown us away with his effort for getting good deals done, like this one time when a customer brought a pair of vintage nickel-plated Scottish pistols that were around 100 years old, asking for about 8,000 for them. Chumley made the right decision by calling in an expert. The expert revealed that the pistols were actually the creation of a very famous Victorian-era gunmaker, and suggested that the guns would be able to get four to 5,000 bucks at an auction. The owner then lowered the initial price to 4,200, but Chumley convinced him to sell it for just 3300 making it his career best deal. Smart one, Chumley. Number 5. The Game Book This one time, Chumley got confused like you all must be. Why would a person ask $1,500 for a game book? He really couldn't understand, but the owner mentioned how he won it in a show. Chumley told him he would hardly buy it for 20 to 30 bucks, and that he has seen something very similar to this online, and this is the least he could pay. However, when Rebecca Romney visited the store to appraise it, she was excited to see the book and told him that this was one of the very first published rulebooks for poker to ever record in the year 1886. Chumley then suddenly wanted to make the deal. The owner now wanted more money, but Chumley agreed to pay 1375 Close to his initial demand, isn't it? Well, it would be wrong to say that Chumley is any less than an exciting package for all his viewers. He surely has cracked the greatest deals, and the way he has executed them has either got us in fits or made us praise him. We would love to hear your favorite deals he has made so far in the comments section down below. Well, that's it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, then let us know by giving it a thumbs up. We will see you soon in another video. Until then, take care and goodbye.